An estimated 12 million Americans have food allergies. They can range from anything from uh, being annoying to potentially deadly, of course. Andrew Gilman, chairman of the Food Allergies and Anaphylaxis Network, is here along with his son, Sam, who has some significant food allergies. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Harry. Tell us first, what's the most important thing your organization does? Since we don't have even a treatment or a cure for food allergies, FAN, foodallergy.org, really provides education, awareness, and advocacy, and research to figure out a way to help people with food allergies. Yeah, and how old are you now? You're 18, I'm 18 right? Yeah. 18. How has the awareness changed just since you were a little kid? Because when you were a little kid, people barely paid attention to it at all. Right. Fan has been instrumental in raising awareness. When I was younger, I could walk into an ice cream store and be kicked out for my food allergies. Mm -hmm. And now, Everybody knows about food allergies, and segments like these are really important to raising awareness. Yeah, just a personal question. Some people, in the, as they grow older, they can grow out of their allergies. Have you been, have you been lucky enough for that? I have not, yeah. and that's why FAN is so important. Yeah. In terms of research and what's going on in, in response to food allergies, because it seems to me there are just more and more people get them all the time. There's increasing research, there's some possible treatments, but the only thing you can do is avoid the foods, make sure your friends and teachers and family members know how to help you, and then just keep hoping that there's a cure someday. There you go. A lot of people walking around with EpiPens in this, in this country. We really appreciate your hard work. Sam and uh, Andrew, really, uh, thank you very much for stopping by thank this morning. Thank you for having us. All right, thank guys. You.